over a week on from that really disappointing defeat at Reading where mistakes really did play their part. Jack Bonham has an absolute mare two minutes in and then Ben Wilmot goes from hero to zero, gives away that penalty. It's the first time Alex Neal's had a week to work with the squad so hopefully that's done us some good. Unfortunately on the injury front though, we're no better than where we left off except Nick Powell obviously who came on against Reading. In terms of tonight's game, it's going to be a tough one. The KCOM's been a little bit of a fortress for Hull. Uh, they absolutely wiped the floor with Coventry a couple of weeks ago so it, anything could happen tonight. We won there 2-0 last year. But yeah, I'm going to go one all tonight. I'm going Jacob Browns to get the goal for us. So anyway, without further ado, let's get up to Hull. Come on, Stoke. Alan, Jamie just touched down in Hull. What are you reckoning? Uh, well, who knows with the new manager? Go every way, couldn't it? Hull are playing well. We're hit and miss. Um, depends, depends on the side he puts out and the formation, really. What do you reckon the score will be? I'd like to think Stoke will win. It's my birthday, I want three points. I, I never settle for anything less. Everyone says, you know, a point away is good, but I want three points away and three at home get out of this division and get up. That's the main thing, you know, that's priority. I don't I don't agree with this old top six, top ten with Palabra either. You've got to be thinking positive and you want promotion, first or second, that's it. What do you think? Um, I don't want to be biased. I think I'll go 1-1. One, one. I think keeping Espunian quiet, that'll be key, you know, top goal scorer. Um, Neil's had a bit of time with the squad now. He showed slight improvement, so... I'll go for 1-1 one, one draw away, I'll take that. So team news is out, a couple of changes from Reading. Timon returns to the side after a bit of a spell out through injury. Bonham's in goal with a back three of Fox, Flint and Wilmot. Looks to be to Lapp and Gale up front. It's a good partnership but need to start seeing some goals. Hopefully that can come today. Still sticking one all brown to score. Come on Stoke. You know I do think we'll lose but I'm going to say 1-0 Stoke. Go with Brown. We'll get a goal today. Get a goal. I'm going to be a bit optimistic. The boys have had a good training this week. I'm going to go 1-0 Stoke to Lapp to get his first Stoke goal. Says to Lapp every week. We're going to win. One no stone. Good performance today, I think, and uh, get Neil's uh, bomby army going. It's going to be up, it's over. It's, it's a great save for me, for me, goal. 
Out, Brass, again, minutes in. Missed kick, another one for Baker, Baker in. Yeah. Yeah. What a goal! So it's half time, 2 0 Stoke. I think a lot of people were optimistic coming into this one. I don't think they expected it to be going as well as it has. Baker scored halfway inside the first half. Um, really what nice free kick. It took a huge deflection, but I'm not going to complain. It wrong footed the keeper Ingram and went in. Wilmot followed that up just before the break. I couldn't quite see what was going on, but it was a good ball in, and Wilmot put it in at the back stick like he did at Reading the other week. But no. I think we've dealt with their threat really, really well. Um, I'm happy with how we're playing. Um, I honestly think we can go and score three or four this game, but I think Hull do look dangerous, but I think we can't get complacent with them at all. Um, they, like putting, they like putting the ball into the box, but I think Flint, Wilmot and Fox have dealt that really, really well. It's nice to see timing back really refreshing down this left-hand side, being dangerous again. But yeah, second half prediction, I'm going to go 3-0 Stoke. Score it, let's go for Dwight Gale. Come on, Stoke.
Really almost to there from Simon. Curly one almost beat Ingram. Just approaching the 70th minute now. Green L's the score. Come on. Last one to with Gale to see the bone and Delap on the back stick. It's blocked himself for another corner. A lovely move from the crowd at Gale. But it's more bone and Delap. Delap has his header at the back stick. Just blocked. Come on. ground after a fantastic 3-0 win against Hull. Um, I thought Hull, to be fair, knocked it around really, really well, but after the third, they were nowhere to be seen. Baker, another quality finish from outside the box. I thought it could have been more. Smallbone had a chance re at the post in the first half as well. We had some great chances, um, but no, the most important thing is the, the clean sheet, the goals and the win. First win under Alex Neal. I think that's going to be really important going into the next couple of games. No point winning tonight if we don't follow it up with another win on Saturday at QPR. Where we won that we won there last year, so I don't see why we can't do it again. If you have enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Come on, Stoke!